So in test drive, a big thing is reputation. Of course it's going to be. And obviously with this, uh, for the first part anyway, you need to go from, I think, a light level 5 or 6 to level 12 before you can carry on with any missions. Now the big thing when it comes to reputation and races, you could just restart. Say for instance, we've done this race three times now. It's just not happening. We can obviously just carry on. Or you can obviously go around and maybe that race isn't for me. If you do win a race, I believe it's around about two and a half thousand to be able to get that done. Or you obviously can get a little bit of reputation from drifting, from high speeds. And you will find it may not be crazy amounts, but you will get a little bit of something as you're driving through. And also there's going to be lots of collectibles and stuff that you can get as you continue your exploration of the lovely Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. Also, there's going to be nice little uh, extra bonuses as we see over here in a second, which is, where is it? There it is. You can find these little credits. Now, this is money rather than reputation. So, I will, oh, I was going to say, can I fit through there? So, that's going to give me some money, which is always perfect. And obviously, there is going to be jumps and different stuff that you can to increase your reputa reputation. If you are looking for different races as well, because for instance, you start all the way over here, you'll find something like this where it's the meeting point. You just don't have a car for this just yet. So if we continue down, as you kind of go through the places, you'll be able to see more and more stuff, more than likely around here. So for instance, for this one, we don't actually have a car that's uh, illegible for that. So you want to definitely go and have a look at that in general. The time beaters is going to be quite a nice one as well. So that one, for instance, is going to be a single uh, kind of race. So you are just beating a time. And I do find them to be relatively quick, normally under like two minutes, give or take. I can imagine as we go further through the campaign, as you saw there, we did get 500 reputation as well. But as you go through the campaign, you should then see maybe longer and longer races as we do progress. Like we saw there with the exploration side of it, we do get some reputation for getting new, more new places. So when it comes to racing here, you'll obviously get some nice rep after finishing this. And we hopefully will get the finishing spot to show you what the end category is like. So we've managed to win that one just, I think, about 20 seconds to go as well, to be fair. So with this, you do get a new record bonus as well if you do beat the record. So we get the race reward of 2,500 and another 250 for the record as well. If I was to repeat this and beat my record again, you do get the 250. If you don't, then obviously you just get the two and a half thousand. Plus, you're going to get some uh, some lovely money for it as well. So that puts me on a track to be able to get a new car. And like I said, you can try it again and you'll be able to get another two and a half for finishing it. So if you wanted to just get your reputation down and didn't really want to uh, kind of go further in the campaign uh, in terms of how many races you've completed, you should be able to do it just by carrying on that same race each time. But that's how you get the reputation and we'll carry on with the Street HQ soon.